what's happening gamers welcome back to Sekiro on the O1 channel Yay! formerly Batman channel probably always Batman channel but now it's a ninja channel so well I mean Batman is a ninja but apparently he's in to... Batman begins he's a ninja ah. what's going on here it doesn't look good what are you doing hmm oh I didn't realize you were here the sculptor has been coughing blood I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research. A sample right. of his blood? Yes, blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted, stagnant, but the sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes, bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I come across anyone afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. Thank you. Interesting. Uh, yes. Please do that. Sweet! We've got more healing. High C. That's always good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, she said goodbye so weirdly. I know, right? She's just like, goodbye. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Oh, never mind. <coughs> Cover your mouth! You're here too. <laughs> it's so busy here today. Uh. <coughs> Sculptor. I don't need your concern. I'm not normal, you see. No mere dragon rot will kill me. Well, that's good to know. <coughs> Sculptor. I don't. Okay. I now, don't need your concern, sculptor. I don't need your concern. Let's uh, pray for the sculptor. I think that would be a good idea. Wait, that's that bell that creepy old lady gave us. Okay. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. Uh, whatever you say. His cough got better. can't get over how that prosthetic works. It's yeah. so weird. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. Three years ago. Whoa! We just time-traveled. Yeah, we did. From a bell. That's pretty cool. And Doc had to use a DeLorean. More of those uh, medicinal pellets, so healing pellets. I wish I could time travel. Hmm. Be interesting. All right, quick items. We haven't really used a lot of quick items. Um, let's put a pellet, because that says it's a healing medicinal thing. That could help us. Ceramic shard? You can use it as distractions? Okay, that sounds useful. Fistful of Ash. Okay, that is something interesting. So you would throw that at people and then it would disorient them because they would have smoke. What kind of smoke? Like poor man's smoke bomb. Kind of, sort of. That's how I'm envisioning it. Yeah. Like hey, if, if I you thought we pick said... up dirt. Oh, yeah, poor man's smoke bomb. Yeah, I thought we said that there were no smoke bombs in Ninja Land. There was no smoke bombs in Ninja so Land until... Maybe dirt bombs? <laughs> dirt bombs, yep. <laughs> dirt bombs, poison, ash. fire. Whatever a ninja could use. Shinobi. I wouldn't want ash in my mouth and stuff and eyes. That would be disturbing. Okay. Well, let's uh, open up this statue. Yeah, we'll call them Shinobis. Well, they are shinobis. I mean, nin yeah, I, ninja's I, a... Uh, like a term people made up later. Well, I mean... Uh, kind of. Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu is a form of martial arts that actually ninja do not study under. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. That's pretty funny. I know, isn't it? The whole idea... I mean, you don't know the art that the uh, shinobi trained in because what's really interesting about them is... Unlike uh, what they want you to believe in popular media and comic books and manga and anime and video games, ninjas did not 
train like Jedi's at a young age and they did not pass on their teachings to the next generation of Shinobi. Oh, wow. It was like, okay, this is your mission, go do this and pray you don't get caught because you'll have to die. Yeah, figure it out. If you fail, you have to die. Oh my gosh. A samurai's pretty much followed the same code though. The code of Bushido. Code of the warrior. Yep. The way of the warrior. You did not want to be special forces in ancient Japan. <laughs> because if you messed up or failed, you died. And they were mostly fighting other clans and stuff though. Yep. Former brothers, cousins, uncles, nephews. I mean, people think the American Civil War was bad. The Japanese Civil War lasted, what, ours lasted maybe, what, 15 years, something like that? Uh, I don't think it was. It really? was It was pretty long. I, I mean, the American I Revolution remember. was long. So anyway, the Warring States period lasted centuries. Yeah, well, the Revolution was long, definitely. Centuries, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. With little pockets of peace in between. Like, Nobunaga was able to uh, get peace for a while, even though he was a really bad dude. And then the dude after him, and then uh, a bunch of other people. But it, it would always, like, history would repeat itself, you know? I'm going to have to look up how long our Revolutionary War and Civil War was now. I, World War II was like five years, four years, something like that. Revolution was the... Uh, the time of Lexington and Concord until like the 1780s. So, if you know when Lexington and Concord started, and the Boston Tea Party, then you know how long the revolution was. Was there a fish in the water just then? I have no idea. It's got to be something freaky, and we are not investigating. I do not want to come meet that thing. Exactly. Luke, let's get to shore. What are you doing? Let's get out of here. I don't want to be in the water. I see something shiny. What? What? You I don't like being in the water that I can't see things underneath it's me. It's important to pick up what you can. See, look at that. Treasure carp, carp scale. scale. See, that that probably come in handy. It actually does look like a fish scale. Do you fear what lurks in the water, yes, Amber? Yes, I do. That's why yes. I don't go there. Okay. I mean, look. I Look at how clear the water is. I don't like seeing little tiny... I don't even like feeling tiny fish swim by my legs. And yet you have a fascination with Champ and Nessie. Yeah, because it terrifies me. That's why it's so interesting. Oh, well, this... Whatever's in the water is kind of terrifying me, but... It's a means to the end because you saw how many people are patrolling on those bridges. I mean... I'm trying to do this... The most efficient way possible without having to worry about my uh, swordmanship, which is not very good. I admit it. I'm better at sneaking up behind people and snuffing out their existence and moving on to the next target. I think your character is just being smart because in reality you only have one life to live. Except but this is what a shinobi did. They would infiltrate. They would pretty much the tactics that you see for me killing people. That's how they did it. Well, why would you want to fight people head on to alert everyone? Right. Is Maybe that that guy's dog or a wolf? If I wanted to fight people head on, like we were talking about in our previous episode, then there would be a squad of shinobi working together. Yeah. Okay. Mibu possession balloon. Mm -hmm. Filled with something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's probably something we'll sell. I'll pump it away! Oh, you have a grappling hook. I've had a grappling hook since... Wow, you've episode had it since the one. first one, yeah. At the end of episode uh, one, we got I it. I keep forgetting. Sorry. We've been playing this a couple days, though. I, I'm, I'm pacing myself with this, though. We're only releasing... I only want to release about one episode a day. Because I'm going to be very busy with other content on my Let's Play channel. Looking at uh, the Power Rangers game, which is coming out now. They just announced it Friday. Uh, that it's coming out on Tuesday, March 26th. And uh, the Yoshi game is coming out in a couple days, too. It's going to awesome. be a very busy week. So, yeah, definitely. Since this is Dark Souls, I need to be um, very cool, calculated, and not stress myself out. Because these games are really hard. Dark Souls is not a game that is uh, renowned for its... Um, so, 
Timid this. <laughs> Do you think this game is basically like Dark Souls but with a ninja or no? Shinobi Dark Souls. Really? Okay, so it is a similar feel. And oh, look, I can see people. something in the water. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is that? I have no idea. You know what? It what could be. What is in the water? Oh my god. Oh, what is the name of that yokai that lives in the water? Oil. Oh, um, like a little spirit? Thing? Kappa. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Kappa. Okay. Oh, that thing was so close to you, too. Plain oil when the jar breaks. Oh, I really want to see what that thing is. Okay, let's go investigate. No, 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 not close up. I mean, like, with binoculars or something. Oh, my gosh. Well, we have oil. What is oil? Used to burn people, maybe? Okay. Uh, what else we got? I don't know. I mean, used to cook food, probably. Yeah, used to cook food. Mm, totally. Uh, let's use ceramic stuff. All right, so let's get a closer look at this thing because Ooh. Shinobi's no, no fear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a giant fish. Wow. Oh my gosh. That was huge. That thing could feed like an entire village. Where is it? It evaporated. Or it's a vanished. It's not a real fish. It was a ghost fish. It could have been a ghost fish. How am I supposed to know? All right. My heart is pounding right now. That was crazy. Okay. It's not real. It's just a game member. It's pretty awesome, though. That was huge. But you know, some of the fish that do, like, that they, like, basically have, like, basically as prize winning fish and stuff in Japan are huge. Mm hmm. Especially they're, like. Not that big anymore, though. Yeah, they get pretty big, though, but I don't know if it's that big. They get pretty big, but. Alright, some more ceramic stuff. Yeah, I forgot what, what the different, like, um,. Breeds of the fish are, but they mm, mm -hmm. they sell for quite a bit of money. But yeah, I don't think they get that big. I don't know. Right, so that dude with a torch that looks interesting. His uh, attire is different than like that of a samurai, though. It looks like that of a bandit or a thief. Very bare bones. Yep. Not to saying that these guys aren't skilled or anything. It's just. Yeah. They don't look as pretty. Stop that! I mean, would you ever have a... No! Oh, he died. That's right, we got... Resurrection power! Hey, I'm not fearing anything right now because we're not near that giant freaky fish anymore. That was terrifying. Prefer we fight a giant troll then? Yeah. I would definitely like to... Well, no. Actually, troll would be terrifying too. I can't get over the thing's horrific scream from the previous episode. That kind of like, uh... Let's just say I'm glad that those things don't really exist anymore. I hope. Why well, do you think they don't exist anymore, huh? Uh, well, I'm entitled to my opinion. I know it's the internet, but... Uh, that looks impressive! That's not a smoke bomb, but that's like a... Ash. I don't know. Throwing ash at people. Oh my gosh! I remember when I was watching that that fake documentary called like Troll Hunter or something. It was so cool. At first, I was like, when I first clicked on the video, I thought, "Oh my gosh, is this real?" But no, it was just like it was a really interesting documentary of them finding a troll, and then they had to like I forgot how they ended up killing it. I think like with the sunlight or something can't remember it was really interesting i think it was called troll hunter i don't remember what the movie was called so pretty much uh those dude with the torches are really good at um giving away their position i counted uh three guys over that wall yeah um Please don't have any jump scares, because I can't deal with, like, what? some freaky thing coming after me. What are you talking me. about? What do you the mean? The way the violins are doing that thing yeah, is why just... are they doing that? This is freaking me out. <sighs> Alright, let's go deal with some human know. people. Let's just go back to the the temple. I don't want to be here. This is We have this a job to do. I don't want to do our job. I just want to settle down. Let's find a nice... Japanese family and settle down and make some rice. Ramen shop! Before ramen it's time. Shop. Actually, ramen uh, did 
Uh, oh wait, no, no. Ramen uh, came originally from China, but um, when it was introduced to Japan, that's when J the Japanese actually made it better by introducing all kinds of different flavors. I thought that was the the Meiji period is when ramen kind of came around. Ah, uh, the very end of yeah, the very beginning of the Meiji period, the mm. very end of the Edo period, because I was yeah. doing that on my food thingy, and yep, they were saying that basically it got introduced, but. Basically, the Japanese made it, like, so much better because it used to be a very simple dish and the Japanese added all kinds of flavoring and different types of broth and things like that. Oh, boy. All right, this is going to be tricky. So we've got Mr. Diaper Man there with the torch. We've got an archer. Uh, I'm trying to think right, who else I saw. Yeah, there's so many cross-cultural things between China and Japan. So Oh, definitely. It's like they're... It's like their cousin countries, kind of, or something. Pretty much. Fistful of Ash! So, it says it helps stagger enemies, and also it looks cool. So, that is essentially your smoke bomb. Cousin countries that fought each other. A lot. Mm-hmm. Please stop with the freaky music. Okay, and... It's gonna make me mess up! I don't like when they do things. Maybe I it's making my, my skin crawl. I should take my headphones off. Oh, great. Master Ninja, indeed. Way you to give just... away your position. <laughs> Wait, there's some stuff. It's there. Arkham all over again, hitting greats. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm stealthy. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Smash. Is there, is there a person in there? There's a person in there. Dead person. No, oh, there's a live person in there, too. Where? Oh, there, he's holding a torch. That's outside! Oh. Okay. This is inside! Oh, well... Don't I mean... you see the doors and the broken in wind- Oh, come on! Sorry, I didn't mean to make you go look over there. Uh, my bad. What?! What, what?! Um, that guy shot fire. Arrows. I realize that, he's using fire arrows. Oh, man! One chop over the axe and you're gone? That seems unrealistic. We had to jump ahead a little bit because we had to start that all over again. So, uh, let's try to, uh, take these guys out a more proper way. So you said you saw somebody in the house? Oh, wait, nope, I see him now. Oh, well, no, I, I thought I did at first, but... I think you did. So this is the dude who trips the alarm, then, so we have to kill him first. Oh, there he... Oh, come on! Looks like you sounded the alarm yourself. <laughs> I wasn't trying to! Kind of glad that I don't get set on fire when I walk through the fire. I mean, I, I know I'm a stickler for realism, but in this case, you know, I'm okay with it not being... Uh, Are you sure you wouldn't want to be, like, set on fire? No, because I don't think this guy would be smart enough to stop, drop, and roll. I mean, maybe. He does ninja rolls all the time, but... Alright. Now, we know that that dude over there has that nasty axe thing, so we gotta get rid of that guy. The best way to do that is death from above. I'm coming for you. So we got Mr. Torch guy, and then three of his buddies down there, so... What I like about Arkham games, though, when you do something really flashy, it scares them. These guys are, like, not phased at all. Yeah. Maybe if I was wearing, like, a demon mask or something, like, if the ninjas looked more terrifying, then maybe people would have, like more of a reaction, but they just see it as an enemy. So it's like... Yeah, maybe you should wear, like, a weird scary mask. That's what I wish you could do. Like, if there was a way to customize your character. I'm all for, you know, dressing in the traditional attire of what a shinobi would look like during this time period, but at the same time, in the 16th century, there was a famous shinobi that wore blue and had the blue mask. So he had the whole shebang. Maybe you could have a mask in your pocket, and then when you're about to face an enemy, put it on your face. I'm pretty sure he uses a scarf that he has around his neck. No, oh, but you could put a scary mask in your pocket. Too. A scary mask. And what would the scary mask look like? Uh, probably a clown. <laughs> that would definitely terrify people back then. I would be afraid. Usually only uh, samurais wore uh, demon masks or freaky masks. You had to be higher up in order to wear a mask like that. They didn't give it to footmen. 
Or Why pikemen. couldn't you just make your own, though? It doesn't look too hard to make. Because you have to be, like, it was usually a hot dog! Usually a, a symbol of nobility or something, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I never understood the noble thing, like, you literally weren't allowed to wear certain things if you weren't noble. Like, even if you found it on the ground, you could not put it on. I wouldn't, unless you ended up killing that person and had some, you know, trophies or whatever from that. Like, you know, trophy of the kill. But I'm just saying, like, Wait, if somebody it? made it... Even if you had one, like, you bought one at a store or something, you, you weren't allowed to wear it unless you were noble? It doesn't make any sense. What? I guess there's, like, rules to it. What is that guy doing? Is he trying to burn a concrete building? I don't think that's gonna go very well. You could try. Alright. This Joker has his back turned to us, so it's time to say adios. Ash to the face. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Smoke bomb! Sort of. Ash bomb. Oh, wow, look at that. We're covered in soot now. Well, I mean, that totally would happen. Yeah. Yeah, we are. I look like I work in a mine. Yep. All right, there is a archer up on the roof, so we got to take him out. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting archers. Uh... uh whoa, Mr. Archer. <sighs> look at it burn. Whoever called this a fire-breathing barrel wasn't kidding. I can feel my spirits lifting already. You ain't wrong. This estate always rubbed me the wrong way. Bye! <laughs> now we call divide and conquer, my friends. Feels like the Joker's theme from the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah, it does. Ugh. No way can you see me! I'm covered in soot! Dang it! What? How can they see you up here? How am I supposed to know? Maybe if you don't move now, they won't see you anymore. Uh, it looks like they're throwing grape juice at me now. So, there were rocks on top of their rooftops? I don't know the, uh, uh architecture. Wouldn't, wouldn't that, like... Other, other than the, you know, the really cool looking castles of the 16th, 17th, and 15th century Japan, I can point those out and tell you what they are, but... Uh, as for the rocks, I mean, it might have to do with, you know, rain. No idea. I don't know. I mean, we are in a farming community. So just like medieval times, uh, it wasn't uncommon to have, like, a town or a farm inside the place where your castle was. Mm hmm You saw the walls all over the place. Yeah, so that they have their walls to keep their citizens safe, then. From barbarians, wolves, and freaky stuff. Shinobi. No, Shinobi could just climb over the wall. Oh. They didn't wear heavy armor. As you can clearly see this. But yeah, we were talking about ninjutsu before a little bit. Ninjutsu is kind of a really cool martial arts, but it was never used by the ninja. The reason why ninjutsu pretty much became a thing was the 20th century. And uh, also, uh, we'll say quite a bit of ninja movies of the 70s and 80s. Uh, ninjutsu got very popular in the States um, around the mid to late 80s. And it's still taught to this day. It's just like a very brutal form of martial arts, but it is not the type of um, killing arts that a shinobi would learn and not pass on to anybody because nobody wanted the life of a shinobi. It was not a very glamorous career. Uh, high stakes and you fail, you die. <laughs> so. Yeah. Not, not a lot of career prospects there or uh, growth opportunities. It just feels like this whole time period is so dark, Luke. It's big and bringing me down. Well, I mean, it, it, I want to visit the people making beautiful, like, fields of rice and growing flowers and stuff. That's why we're going to be playing Yoshi soon, sweetie. <sighs> but I, this game is definitely up my alley, and it's just like, I haven't really thought about a lot of ancient Japan or ninja myth versus uh, fiction or 
Where, some time. Where are the children and the families in this? Because I, I would want to go visit them and get some flowers or something. I don't maybe. think you want to know where the people are in this town. What? What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure that the bandits have killed everybody. I'm talking about in Japan. I want to go somewhere happy. I don't mean this town. Oh, all right. So, okay, well, it, well you weren't being very specific. Okay, I want to go somewhere not dark in Japan. Flame Barrel! Ooh. Is there anywhere not dark we can go? I think that is a shinobi weapon of some type. Prosthetic tool. Yep. Flame Barrel. I'm so. going to name this game Dark Ninja. Dark Souls Ninja. Yeah, because Ninja it's Dark Souls extremely, Edition. It's extremely dark. It's well, I mean, like it, battle after battle after battle. It's like, oh my gosh. Speaking of battle, uh, our poor uh, wolf shinobi here needs a bath because he's got soot all over him. He looks really bad. Well, I guess that's what happens when you throw ash at people. I mean... You look terrible. It just looks horrible. That would be very difficult to breathe, too. The longer he had that on his skin, it would he not really, be pleasant. He really needs to wipe his face off. Like, just rub it up against a, a, the grass or a tree or a leaf. Take a leaf and wipe it from your face. Just please get that off. Oh my gosh. It's so disturbing. Ah, ah, ah. You know... Santa's the, helper. The grass makes such a great thing to get stuff off of you. Like, it's just... Oh, it's raining right now, too. You would think that would... Whoa! Hey there, big boy. Actually, you're a tiny guy. It's like, if I were me, I would roll around on the grass for a little bit, and it would be off. It would be off. Would you la rather he has uh, gushers all over him? No. Gushers candy? Oh, look! A person! Those worthless bastards. Hello. <laughs> you are a shinobi, if... If I'm not mistaken, take the shinobi axe from from the temple and split their skulls wide open. What did they do? Please. They, they killed everyone in the town? Looks like it. What did they... Who are they? Like, why would they do that? Well, that guy's a tire right there. That was a samurai. Like... When he's not wearing his armor, he's basically like a nobleman, or like you said, some samurai were even like police officers. So, um... I was just taking a wild guess. No, actually, you're correct. And the best way that you can learn that, guys and gals, is watch uh, the anime Rioni Kenshin, um, which Amber and I play a bunch of Jump Force on our other channel. Wait, they talk about all that stuff in Kenshin? Yeah, they show you what the uh, different color samurai garbs mean and the different swords that a, a ronin or a samurai or a police officer would carry would tell you their fighting style and also, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. You could usually tell. I couldn't tell, but like uh, other people back then could tell the difference between a skilled swordsman so, and a person who's just like brandishing a sword. So it would be the difference between like Mm, like mm, secret agent black ops like federal uh troops uh police officer i don't know <laughs> things like that like different degrees of like army people or something mm -hmm. something like that i still have a great um rona kenshin movie called samurai x i still have the dvd i don't know where it is but it's around no Leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your thick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry my skull's so thick. Wait, mm. what? He doesn't take from Buddha? That's interesting. Well, yeah, I mean... Well, he's religious, then. Yeah. I mean, I guess everyone is, except for that guy. He's like... In, uh... No, he's just not thinking. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's some things that you're not really supposed to do. Well, they probably would think that they would get, like, karma or curse from that later. I don't know. Something would happen. Okay, I don't know what all the sugar stuff does, but maybe I could throw sugar at people. Then I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't know. I think you should make yourself a delicious, um, strawberry cake with that sugar. 
I'm just going out on a limb and saying this right now that Tenchu has cooler weapons. Like, Wolf is a really interesting character, and I know that they're going for Dark Souls, but the Tenchu series, really cool what I would consider ninja weapons. Even though they're not historically accurate, they made gameplay more fun. Throwing soot at people is not really what I had in mind. I wanted a smoke bomb and then I could get behind them quicker or something, but instead... They're trying to make it all historical. I know. But it but just... Yeah, I can so understand weird. what you're saying. I mean, I think it's interesting to figure out what they would really have, though, instead of the, you know, kind of fantasy, like, thing about... The act... Theatricality and deception are the tools of a shinobi. Shinobi Axe of the Monkey! That sounds Heavy fun. black iron axe used by shinobi. So it's a prosthetic tool, so that means visiting the coughing old man. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Who has the dragon rot. Ooh, light coin purse. Yep, you can sell those. It's about 100 coins, so sometimes 200 coins. When they said don't burn that, but burn the next one, it's kind of implying they burnt everything, like... Uh, you can see that this place is not really in the best shape, right? This isn't even the castle. This is like a castle town. Or, uh, we'll say a town leading into the, quote, town or capital. I believe in the Warring States period, like, different provenances in Japan, like, where uh, a lord or a shogun had set up base was called, like, a, um its own region or its own like uh, capital or something so think of it you know how you visit different towns and stuff here in uh, this part of Pennsylvania central PA and there's all these different places connected yeah. Yeah. well imagine that those areas are their own separate state each town was their own state mm-hmm with a, uh, a Oh, what were they called? Like they're Dios or Dom... Daimyo? Daimyo! Yeah, that's it! Daimyo! Feudal Lord! Oh, I'm so stupid. Shogun? No, that's like the president, the big cheese that rules over like a huge province of Japan. For the most part, Daimyo were not really good guys. I mean, if you had to borrow a cup of sugar from them, it's not really something that you'd want to deal with. I'm sorry, but this music is just too creepy. My mind is still a little foggy, and I haven't slept yet, so, I mean... Yeah, I did kind of wake Luke up, and, like, he was like... Okay. Well, I mean, I've had two hours sleep today. That's not really bad. Well, after we finish playing this awesome ninja game and get some episodes recorded, then I will think about sleeping for a while. Well, actually, it'll give me time to do some of my homework, or... Maybe I'll make turkey dumplings. I was so upset because I got this turkey... You have to buy a new turkey, though. I know, I have to buy a new turkey because, well, luckily it's not a ton of money, like, it's not like I, I found out in my cooking classes that actually they charge about, people usually charge about three times as much. Hey, good sir, are you a looter too? No. Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Yeah, well, I'm looking. in any case... <laughs> I found this place first, hmm? So, keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the... He's oh, gonna by the kill way, him. while You're I was on my way guy. here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. Hmm. Mm, you're not gonna kill that guy? No, he actually survives. That was the merchant that we met in that uh, town we were in. Oh, yeah. And he was like, yeah, I met you three years ago, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah. well I was just saying from my cooking class, I found out Hello. that, like, you know, like, ordering stuff and making it yourself from scratch actually saved a ton of money, actually. Bundled Jizio statue. It's Small like bundle. Little baby. Buddha, Buddha baby. A Buddha baby. Okay, so right out these gates, it looked like there was some people. There they are. Hey, open up. Open up or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, 
You're going to regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey! Aren't they just going to kill those people anyway? Yep. But maybe they would do it in a more humane way. <laughs> wow. There was no such thing as humane back then. What am I talking about? Oh, boy. Well, I'm sure there could be a difference. But I wouldn't trust those people anyway. Like These are looters and bandits and thieves. They were not good company. It's not like... You remember Goemon? The, you know, the shinobi that went around acting like Robin Hood? Uh, vaguely. Yeah. Well, they're not that. Please, try not to move. It'll make your wounds worse. No, I must go. There is a shinobi hunter among the bandits. He's highly skilled. If I don't face him... Oh. I forbid it. You are in no condition. Okay, that was an interesting uh, exchange. Wait. This guy thinks you're a shinobi hunter? No, I don't think he's talking about me. I think he's talking about an enemy. Who... who are you? I'm, I'm not a thief. Uh, you're, you're the young lords. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable shinobi. Those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. Ooh. Antidote powder. Thank you. I pray it is of help. Thank you. Can't hurt. So if we get poisoned down the road, we have an antidote now. So what was the game that you said that you liked because it had so many different weapons? Tenchu. Tenchu. And what what system did that come out on? Or uh, PlayStation. Mm -hmm. uh, and you really liked playing that. We PlayStation oh. Two. I never watched you play it. I don't think. Or I still have one. I have the last you, one from two thousand eight. You're the young master shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. Wait, what? That can't be good. What do you mean, it had to be us? Uh, he's saying I wasn't around to protect the village and then all this stuff went down. He could be blaming me, or secretly, we could be playing this entire game as a bad guy. What? This takes place three years ago. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. I, I know about as much as you do at this point. What? Why would you be a traitor? You're trying to help. Well, double agent. Oh, why would you do that? Money, power. Power? You don't look like you have much power. You don't even, you're not even allowed to wear one of those cool masks. Just call me Soot Man. <laughs> you don't need a mask. Well, actually, no one would recognize him right now. Kind of looks like a statue come to life. I know. I was thinking the same thing. Like you look like a robot or a statue. Wait, are those shields? What? Oh, those have got to go. Oh, yep. Yeah, saw that coming. Do you have arrows or? Nope. I do have... Ash! Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, they're fighting each other, so that works. Alright, these guys are gonna be problems, so let's do our best to try to get rid of them. So, you can attack them from behind. So as long as you can bypass their defense, it's pretty easy to hit I guess them. these shields are just made out of wood or bamboo or something. Mm-hmm. Doesn't feel like they'd be very effective, but they are stopping you. Yes, they are. Ah, there we go. Hit him with the ash and then... Get him from behind, oh. yep. All right, let's try this again. It's kind of creepy seeing that symbol for death every time you die. I don't know why, I'm a little creeped out. This entire game creeps me out, but in a good way. I enjoy playing it. I really enjoy Dark Souls, but I like this game more because it doesn't feel like, you know, you have to play it the way you would Dark Souls. There's a lot more to it. Yeah. I also like the option of being able to stealth kill like half the characters in the game. That's fun for me. 
because it's going to be difficult for me to wage war. But uh, anyway, guys and gals, uh, I don't know if I was supposed to use what I did to beat those guys, but throwing soot at them seemed to work wonders, but... Got the job done. Exactly. Got behind them, ended the game. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow with more of Shikiro. Sekiro! Whatever! On the O1 channel. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Check out the playlist, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you with more. Bye! See ya!